What's up, Kings fans? Barry here from Royal Rebounds. I uh, wanted to talk to you about the Sacramento Kings' new front office staff uh, led by Monty McNair. Uh, let's get started. All right, guys. So uh, the three guys that I really, really want to discuss today uh, was Wes Wilcox, Phil Jabor, and Paul Johnson. Uh, but before we can go in depth on those guys, I think it's very important to um, take a look at our new GM, Monty McNair, and the guy that hired them. Uh, Monty is a very, very smart, uh, young professional in the league. Uh, he's only 36 years old, but he's experienced. He's been in the league for 13 years. Um, before that, he played football at Princeton. He's a very team-oriented guy. Um, he's listed uh, two uh, basketball professionals as his mentors in the NBA, uh, one being Sam Hinkey, the old general manager of the Philadelphia 76ers, um, a.k.a. the driver of the tank. Um, and then the second one is Daryl Morey, um, recently stepped down as GM of the Rockets. But um, Monty was basically his right-hand man um, in Houston for the last 13 years. He was heavily involved in scouting players, uh, making trades, drafting guys, and signing free agents. Um, I think he learned a lot from Daryl, and I'm happy for him to bring those skills and insights to Sacramento. A uh, couple names to touch on here. James Harden, we all know how that worked out. Uh, 2012, Houston Rockets traded a handful of players and some draft picks to Oklahoma City for a future all-star in James Harden. Um, after that, they signed uh, Chris Paul to a lucrative contract just a few years ago. Uh, Chris Paul helped bring them to um, just within a game of the NBA Finals and potentially winning uh, an NBA championship. After that um, fell through, they ended up trading one of the worst contracts in the NBA for a serviceable, more than serviceable player in Russell Westbrook, um, MVP candidate, multiple time all-star, and actually uh, the first player in NBA history to record uh, three consecutive years of averaging a triple-double uh, notching out our own Oscar Robertson for um, Triple Double King. After that, they traded for Robert Covington when the Houston Rockets decided to go small and get rid of a traditional center. Um, he was very uh, integral part in that. And um, a few other moves that he's made in the past that really impressed me is just his knowledge of contracts, um, how to pry players from other teams, uh, restricted free agents specifically. Um, two that come to mind for me, um, Jeremy Lin and uh, Omar Ashik. Um, both players came over from other franchises, uh, the Knicks and the Bulls respectively. Um, they were both highly coveted by the franchise they were with and going into free agency as a restricted free agent. Um, but the contract that was created by uh, Daryl and Monty uh, disincentivized their team from matching that contract. So he knows how to get things done. Um, he knows the rules. And my biggest um, takeaway from Monty is he is a smart guy and he knows how to get other smart guys and put them in a position to succeed. So speaking of smart guys, we just added three more of them to the front office. Um, first off, we have Wes Wilcox. He came over from um, Atlanta. He spent five years in Atlanta, uh, worked his way up to assistant GM, um, spent three years in Cleveland as a scout, and most recently he's been uh, the host of NBA TV's GM School. Um, cool show to watch and uh, get a little bit of insight into him and, and how he uh, views the team and players and a cool way to pick his brain without actually talking to him directly. Um, but I'll mention a couple of the players that um, he's been involved with drafting. Uh, number one, LeBron James. Uh, obviously not his, uh, not his decision, um, but a good pick at that anyways. Um, I wouldn't give him any credit for that pick as it was predetermined. Um, but that year they took uh, somebody in the second round, uh, Jason Capono. 
great shooter. Uh, played over 500 games in the NBA, so successful pick, uh, especially for a second rounder. Um, also drafted Shannon Brown and Daniel Booby Gibson, uh, both serviceable NBA players that had uh, productive careers. And then when he moved on to Atlanta, um, he was involved of a really, a really uh, good team. Uh, they had the best record in the East in 2014 at 60 and 22. Um, Wes was a big part of that. He brought in um, Coach Mike Budenholzer. He, he came over from San Antonio. Uh, not that many people knew a lot about him, um, but as he's proven over the last couple years, he is a winner. Um, he knows how to coach in the league, and players respect him, uh, most importantly. Uh, he was able to sign a big-time free agent in Paul Millsap and help develop that culture there. And then a few of the guys that he's drafted um, or been responsible as a scout um, for putting them on the Hawks' radar. Uh, Dennis Schroeder, Shane Larkin, uh, James Ennis, Kelly Oubre, uh, DeAndre Bembry, and uh, most recently John Collins, a uh, very high upside player. Um, so Wes has proven that he has an eye for talent. Um, he's good at communicating with players and staff on his team, and, and he's uh, ready to be part of another winning culture. So very excited to have him uh, here as part of the Kings. Another uh, newcomer is Phil Jabbar. He is the new vice president of player personnel. He is coming over from uh, Philadelphia. I believe he first met Monty McNair in 2009 as a scout for um, the Houston Rockets and their G League squad, um, the Vipers. Then he moved on to the Orlando Magic as a scout. was very integral in uh, a few draft picks for them. Uh, the first one being Victor Oladipo, number two overall. And uh, Aaron, Gord Aaron Gordon the next year, number four, as well as Dario Saric the same year, uh, 12th pick in the draft. Uh, productive NBA player. I know he's not in the NBA currently, uh, but he's definitely shown that he belongs in the league. And then uh, in Philadelphia, um, some hits, some misses. Um, they've had a ton of second round picks, uh, five one year, three another year. He took a lot of um, international prospects uh, guys with um, high ceilings, high risk, high reward guys. Um, we have three second round picks this year, so it'd be interesting um, to see what his impact is going to be on that. Um, one of the guys he did take in the second round, um, Rashawn Holmes, is uh, now the starting center for the Sacramento Kings, or at least was last year. And then more recently, he's drafted guys like Ben Simmons, uh, Markel Fultz, I know that was a tough one. Um, injuries can derail anybody's career. I'm glad to see he's doing well on the Magic currently. Um, but that's the only uh, issue, I would say, with him and his uh, draft profile. Other than that, uh, Mikel Bridges. Uh, he took Landry Shamit late, uh, the 26th pick. And then also just this past year, they traded up to take Matisse Thibel, um with the 20th pick. So uh, two really good players there taken late in the draft. Um, and hopefully that's something that he can transition here in uh, Sacramento. The last guy I want to talk about is Paul Johnson. Um, he's coming over from Oklahoma City and he's the new director of basketball operations. Not a lot is known about him. He wasn't a very public figure. He worked more behind the scenes. Um, and spent a lot of time with Sam Presti, who's known as uh, one of the top GMs in the league. Uh, the Thunder are um, the A's of the NBA. They're the money ball team of the NBA. They're always going to be good. Um, not always in contention to win a ring or, or be close to one, but they're always going to be good. They always have good young players, and then they, they move on from those players before... Um, they have to overpay to keep them, um, especially when they're older and declining, stuff like that. So a lot of uh, expertise and experience from him. He also spent some time 
uh, working as a referee operations analyst with the NBA. So he has a lot of connections that way. Um, but, you know, Sam only brings in smart guys. He brings in guys that are going to be team players, guys that are going to are going to help his team win. And uh, that's what I think Paul Johnson will bring to Sacramento. I'm really excited for all three of these guys and Monty as well, all four of them. Uh, I think that we have a real front office now in Sacramento. I'm uh, tired of the stupid mistakes, um, the not knowing the ins and outs of contracts, players, uh, rules. Um, and I think that we finally solved that problem with all these new faces. So I'm really excited. And uh, let's make the playoffs next year.